Yo, what's up, f***ers? It's your boy Abound from Abound Plays, and in today's video, we are coming at you guys with another tutorial for 5M. This is going to be how to condense your guys' vehicle files to be able to be 5M ready and actually work in your server. If you guys did not already check out part one on how I got this far, go ahead and open up the description below. Part one will be right there at the top of the description. However, if you guys are here from part one, this is what we were dealing with in the past video. Our vehicle spawned in an ugly lime green. All of our vehicle add-ons are this ugly light purple. And obviously something is wrong. This usually happens when your vehicle size is way too big for 5M to handle. We're gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to get rid of this and how to condense your vehicle files to actually be 5M ready. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. I'm gonna go ahead and F8 quit on out of here. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop my server. So here's the box. I'm gonna go ahead and completely exit the box. Then what I wanna do is I want to grab these YTD files and I want to grab all of the files that we have already downloaded from the OpenIV. I'm going to launch OpenIV. If you're brand new here and you guys did not come here from part one, go ahead and open up the description below. I'm gonna have WinRAR and an OpenIV download link for you guys to be able to go ahead and download these programs if you don't already have them. Go ahead and download those and come on back to the video whenever you guys are ready. However, those guys from part one already have this. So let's go ahead and launch Grand Theft Auto 5. And we're going to go ahead and launch that. And we need to grab some files from there, which is going to be really easy, guys. So again, we're going to hit edit mode in here. We're going to then hit yes. And we're going to open up wherever we installed this vehicle. So me personally, I installed it into my mods folder that we made in part one. We're then going to find the vehicle, which is right here, GT86. And we're going to open up the DLC RPF. You want to open up the X64. You then want to, want to click on the vehicles.rpf. And you guys are going to want to grab specifically this file right here. The thing that you guys want to pay attention most to is that you guys see that this size right here is 7.6 and 7.6. However, this is 20,000 kilobytes. We need to get rid of this and we need to go ahead and turn that down. So what we need to do is we want to right click on our um, desktop. We want to say new folder and I'm going to call this original. After we have done that, what we want to do is we want to double click on this YTD. Do remember if it doesn't open, you need to be in edit mode. And what we want to do is we want to take all these files from this and basically put it into this original folder. To do that, go ahead and on the bottom left, hit export all textures. And I always do PNGs. Go to desktop and find this folder that says original and select that folder. What you might be met with is a spinning ring of blue. Of course, we hate those. Just go ahead and give it some time. I promise that this will put all those files in there. And it's actually not going to do anything to this YTD yet until we import new ones. So all we have to do is just kind of play that waiting game and wait for these files to all download into the original. Perfect. So now what we need to do is we can go ahead and cancel out of this and we want to open up this folder. And as we see, this is what's making up the textures on the vehicle outside. This is what makes everything look how it does and all that good stuff. If we go ahead and right click this and we say sort by and we go to size, you guys are going to see that at the top, these are the biggest files. Um, this one's all, you know, 2.19 megabytes. These things are huge, guys. And this is what we need to go ahead and turn down to make this vehicle a little bit more applicable and actually be able to work inside of our server. So what we want to do is we want to open up an editing software. Me personally, I use Photoshop. You guys will need Photoshop for this or just a resizing program in general. I'm not too sure on any other program that's out there that allows you to resize. I'm sure you guys can find something on the internet. Literally, you guys need something just to resize images. We want to go ahead and file open and we want to find that original folder that we made. I'm going to go ahead and open up the original. And right here, this is probably not um, laid out like you want it to be. So right click and go ahead and sort by and then size again. So again, these are the biggest files that we need to mess around with. Um, a lot of these are going to be those files that um, you guys might not even be aware of or what they are. So what I highly recommend is grabbing a pen and go ahead and grab a piece of paper so you guys can write down some of this stuff. So here on this vehicle, it looks like the Toyo model leather is the biggest one, um, which can be found right here. As if you guys scroll over this, it's 2.1 megabytes. So we need to look up and we're gonna find that. Um, the Bride GS um, is huge as well. So we want to look up the Bride GS 
And the reason I'm telling you guys to write all these down is going to be for a later thing that we're going to be doing in this video. Just, just trust me. Go ahead and go ahead and write them down. Um, this one looks like it's mod seven metal. This one right here looks like the gauges are pretty big as well. We can go ahead and get those resized. So we want to look up gauge. We're then also going to look up this plate. And the decal label looks like it's pretty big. And anything else that I'm thinking. Um, it looks like this uh, this underbody. It looks like those are pretty big as well. Let's look up underbody. And anything else. Um, this one right here is very unnecessary. The plate F right here. We can go ahead and get that turned down as well. All right. So we've grabbed quite a bit of stuff right here. You guys can continue picking out stuff that you guys want to shrink down and it'll literally just be a rinse and repeat method through here. Um, however, you guys want to be careful around some things, but that'll be for another video that we can go ahead and talk about that if you guys absolutely need more support. But I think this will be good enough for us to be able to make this car work in our 5M server. So I have my piece of paper with all the stuff that we need to resize. What I recommend doing is right clicking, sorting by and going back to name and finding all of these stuff that we need to select. So I'm gonna hold down control and I'm gonna select all of these. So our first one was the mod leather. So if you just find the mod leather, it's right here and look at this. So the reason I was telling you guys about this was the fact that the reason that you wanna sort them by the name is because of, if you see this mod 07 leather and now you see mod 07 leather, these are actually two files that are actually overlay each other to give it a gloss effect and stuff. We wanna select both of those files. So I'm gonna go ahead and select both of those. I know I said mod metal, so we're gonna go ahead and select that as well. I know that we said plate F and we did the plate N. I think that we did the underbody, which we are right here. So as you see, all of these have two different files. It has the actual file and then the gloss effect file right here. We're then going to want to find all of these. So if you guys remember, we said bride. So there's the bride and bride two. And I think we said frame as well. And make sure to select this one as well. You guys do want to make sure uh, the fact that if it says frame, frame, and frame, you guys want to select all of them. We also said that we're going to redo the gauges and the decal label. So those were all the ones that I wrote down personally for me. So now if we get these all shrunk down, my car should work inside of my 5M server. Let's go ahead and open up all these. And I'm going to show you guys a really easy way, especially if you guys have Photoshop, how this is going to be super easy for you. So if you see this, the underbody and underbody are right next to each other, which is fantastic. That's what we wanted. So we're going to start all the way from, uh, so if you see right here, all the way at top, we have all these files that we need to condense down, but you're going to be super easy. And you basically, it's just going to be a whitewash effect. So I'm going to go ahead and hit control alt I inside my Photoshop. I'm going to hit pixels, go to percent, and I'm just going to turn this down to about 50%. I'm then gonna go to the other one and make sure that anything that you turn down, you wanna make sure that they're both the same size. So I'm gonna turn this down to 50%. Now, if I click on these two images, they're both the same size. They're just smaller now. So we're gonna do that basically on every single one. So I'm gonna take this, we're gonna turn this down to 50%. If I did that to the plates, I need to do that on all of them. So we're gonna turn them all down to 50%. Just like that. So we turned the plates. So as you see, those are both the same size. This one we turned down to 50% as well. We're gonna make sure that that's the same size. And honestly, what we're gonna do is I wanna show you one other thing, is that this is still three megabytes, which is absolutely insanity. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this down to 10. I'm gonna, come, I'm, I'm gonna really shrink this one. It's gonna turn really, really small um, because of the fact that I actually don't use this plate in my server, so I don't need it to be that big. On this one, it's 12 millimeters, I mean, sorry, 12 megabytes. We're gonna go ahead and turn that down to maybe 40. Let's, let's go ahead and get it down to 30, maybe 30. Okay, we're gonna change this down to 30. And then mod leather is not the same one as this one, but it is the same as these two. So we wanna go ahead and just get these shrunk down. And essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this really, really fast. I'm gonna speed it up, maybe throw some music on over it. That way we can get on over to what you guys actually came here for.
All right, guys. So now that I have completely redone and resized all of these images, we are now ready to save them. If you are lucky enough to be doing this in Photoshop with me, fantastic. Go ahead and follow along. However, if you guys have not, you guys are going to want to make sure to follow this step. So for you Photoshop users, literally all we have to do is just click the X, hit yes, and this is going to override that save which is fantastic. However, if you guys are not able to do that, go ahead and go to your program, whatever you're using, hit file, save as, and you guys are gonna wanna find your folder that you guys had originally put all of these and you have taken them into that program from. So I saved all of my originals into the original folder. So if I just open the original folder, which I'm already in, and I hit save, and I hit okay, then I hit none and fast, and I hit okay. So now it's already saved. We don't have to do anything else. However, you, are going to want to save them and do that for basically every single one of them. So again, um, you Photoshop users, we literally just hit the X, we hit yes. We're going to do that on basically all of the items that are in here. So I'm just going to mass produce this. I'm gonna speed this part up as well because it's very tedious and I will meet you guys when we are done. Okay, so I have saved all of my files and I've rewritten the ones inside of the original folder that we have edited. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of Photoshop. And what I'm going to do is then come back and open IV. Um, so just come back here. If you exit out of the program, that's completely fine. Just get right back to where we open those up. So go to edit mode and click on this YTD. And we should see all of the files. Now these are the original files that were over 20 kilobytes. Um, so what we wanna do is we wanna take this folder I'm gonna select one of them. I'm gonna hit Control A. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. And I'm gonna just go ahead and drag and drop. If you come back and open IV, it's gonna say choose import options. You're gonna to wanna to hit yes. So what this is going to do is it's gonna completely override what we already have had inside of this folder, which is fantastic. As you guys see, it was very fast to import for me. I'm gonna go ahead and hit click save. After I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and come on over here and I'm just gonna X out of this. And now we're completely good to go again. If you guys see right here, we started off with 20 kilobytes. Now we're down to four, um, 4,179. So, which is fantastic. So this is exactly what we need to do. You guys are gonna wanna open up your resource folder on wherever you guys had saved your current vehicle from part one. If you guys are not coming here from part one, you guys are gonna wanna find the vehicle that you guys have already imported into your server and that it's bugging out. So mine was saved into cars and AVAL pack. If I open up the stream file and open up the GT86, we have the YFTs and the YTDs. I'm then going to select these items. I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna drop them into this folder. It is going to wanna say, do you want to copy and replace these? You are going to want to hit yes on all of them. So copy and replace all of them. After we have done that, we have successfully completely condensed down that vehicle to be 5M ready. So now if I open up my 5M, and this is gonna take a little bit of time for it to completely launch. Um, one thing that I will mention is that I am not doing right now is that you're actually going to want to start up your server box, which I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna let all these resources download. We're gonna go into 5M and I will see you guys once we are in my city. All right, guys, we are now in my city and we are ready to see if this vehicle is now working. So as you guys saw before, it was an ugly lime green. The extras looked like they were like a light purple. So now if I do car and I spawn in that same car, which is a GT86, it is now gray and it is fully working. It is not an ugly lime green and all of these stuff is working. And if you guys see the way I condense my vehicle, the inside still looks great and looks fantastic. So now what I want to do, for especially for your part oneers that are coming over here from the part one video, what we're going to do is we're going to come on in here. We're going to go ahead and personalize the vehicle, cosmetics. And the biggest deal that you want to see is if you guys are able to paint the car. If you guys are able to paint the car, you guys are good, which as you see right here, I'm able to paint my car. I'm then able to go into my body parts. And if we go to the, I think it was skirts that I did in part one. Um, you see that they're not purple anymore. So I can add all of these stuff to them. Um, we can add the wing to it. We can add the, I think there's a rear bumper to it. We can add a hood to it. 
we can essentially do all the stuff that we weren't able to do before. Um, and also, you guys should be able to do window tint as well. So we can just go ahead and add some window tint. And as we see right here, the vehicle is fully working. It is fully customizable. You can change the colors. And they are actually working. So this is how you guys are going to fix the either flickering of your guys' textures or to fix the problem with the lime green and purple colors that are showing on vehicles. It's just the vehicle is too big for your guys' 5M servers and you guys need to condense them down. That's the major issue that comes from something like this. So hopefully this video did help you guys out. If it did, guys, please give the video a big thumbs up. It really does help me out and it goes a long way on my part. If you guys had any issues with this video, please drop a comment in the comment section below. I will try to get to every single comment as fast as possible and help you guys out because I really want you guys to be able to have custom vehicles that are actually working um, for your guys' player base inside of your guys' 5M servers. Again, if the video did help you out, please give a big thumbs up, drop a comment on any feedback on the video. And if you guys are new here to Aval Plays, please drop a big smash on the subscribe button. It really does help me out. It takes you guys three seconds. Turn on those post notifications. You guys will be notified anytime I upload new 5M tutorials. Other than that, guys, you guys have a wonderful rest of your morning, evening, or afternoon, wherever you guys are at in the world. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.